So I don't know about you, but I've been watching quite a bit of telly the past six weeks and every now and then I have this moment where I yell at the TV, you're not social distancing, where are your masks? <sighs> My latest binge is a medical drama which helps with the whole mask situation, but in case you're experiencing the same concerns I am, I'm putting on my mask for you. Pretty posh if I say so myself. <sighs> well, we'll see how long this lasts. Oh, hello, and welcome to Sunshine Sundays. Ah! Oh dear, we'd better go find your host, Ella London. Ah, thank you for tracking her down. Now, here's her sunshine thought. What if, instead of calling someone silly, we applaud their curiosity? <laughs> Okay, mask off. Way too hot. Whew. <laughs> hmm. So, should we not use the word silly anymore? Gosh, yes. I love the word silly. I use it all the time. I mean, just last week, I sang a silly song for Gratitude Corner. Being silly is such an important and fun part of life. I don't even want to imagine a world without silly. But... We have this tendency to use words like silly, crazy, and weird when we actually mean something else. For some reason, it's so easy when a child asks us a question to tell them they are so silly, or we tell a friend, don't be silly, when they share an idea they had. But are they actually being silly? No, they are being curious. Maybe a bit mischievous too. <laughs> For example, did you know famous inventor and computer programmer Grace Hopper took apart seven clocks in her house when she was seven years old because she wanted to know how they worked? Some might call that silly, but her parents saw it as curious and encouraged her curiosity. She went on to invent important computer programs and systems we still use today. She was always looking at things instead of well, that's the way it's always been done, so that means that's the way we must always do it, to how can we do it differently and better? Kids, adults, this is not a free pass to take apart all the clocks in your house, but it is an invitation to look at the way you respond to someone else's questions and ideas, and also your own questions and ideas, by starting to see them as curious. We can be silly and curious, but don't stop someone else's or your own curiosity by dismissing it as silly. Create and grow the light in someone's eyes by applauding their curiosity. Ask them a question about their idea or take the time to thoughtfully answer their curious question. Speaking of curiosity, you all had so many curious and wonderful questions for my Q&A that I'm actually creating a completely separate video for you. Everything from how old I am <coughs> to dyeing my hair yellow. Subscribe and ring the bell to be alerted when that is released. Your curiosity will be rewarded. And now it is time to put on your tutu, whether real or imaginary, and dance. exhilarating. Time for Gratitude Corner. Practicing gratitude is really giving me a whole new perspective on life and this week I've opened up Gratitude Corner to some friends who are sharing something they're grateful for. Hi Ella, so this is my 15 seconds of gratitude. I'm so thankful for this warm sunny hot day, for my AC. It's not great AC but it's AC and this wonderful iced churro latte from Moon Go Coffee. Hey there, my name's Joanna, and I today am grateful for community. Through this season of COVID, I have been able to 
still feel really connected to people and even in deeper new cool ways that I never expected. So grateful for my friends. If you'd like to share what you're grateful for on Sunshine Sundays, check out the how-to in the description below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining my sunshine world today. If you want more sunshine, you can subscribe by clicking my pic right there in the corner. And it would mean the world to me if you would share Sunshine Sundays with your friends and family. Until next week, cheerio.